Hello Virgo, welcome back to the Lynx Tarot. This is Monica and this reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June or the next 30 days. <clears throat> this is a timeless reading, so it's intended for whenever you're watching. We're jumping in here with the Everyday Witch Tarot and then we'll go into some Oracle. All right, Virgo, you have the star, awesome. This could be some Aquarius energy going on for you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, not necessarily. You're really standing out right now, Virgo. You're being blessed, you're being healed. If there have been health concerns, certainly seek medical attention and don't go by this reading, but I'm getting physical healing coming in very strongly for you. This could be um, physical, mental healing coming in because they're usually related, right? The goldfish is standing out here, so that represents abundance and also good luck, okay? I like that. If you have been striving to get noticed in work or business, it's happening. You're very powerful right now, Virgo. If you have a shop or something like that, it's getting more exposure somehow. If you have an online presence, you're getting more exposure. <clears throat> And if you do something with the internet, say with IT or networking, I'm getting a lot of success here for Virgo. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands, Taurus also just got this, and I feel similar energies and messages to what we got with the Star card. You're being recognized, seen, wanted, um, um, in business work your own business or whether you work with another company um, you're being very recognized seeked out six of wands we've got a lot of a lot of success here acclaim you're being looked up to um, your goods and services are wanted being you're being seeked out um, I feel like someone listening you're getting a lot of orders, like say you have an Etsy shop or any online platform, it could be a website. Um, you're suddenly getting a lot of orders. Whoops. Pop out here, we have the Six of Cups, a spiritual connection, spiritual energy here with the star card. Well, this is all spiritual, but um, this has to do with a spiritual connection with someone else. You could be collaborating with someone you have a strong soul connection with. It could be someone you knew in the past and you decide to collaborate together, or it could be someone totally new and you just really click together and you have different talents and abilities than the other and you just bring it all together and it's like you are a true gift to one another, which is very nice. This might be someone who is helping you get seen or you are helping them get seen and they're paying you for your services to do that. The Queen of Wands is being clarified by the Three of Pentacles. Here's the collaboration. The collaboration there, I like that. It's validating and making money. Six of Wands and the Eight of Swords. So this is about holding ourselves back. Don't hold yourself back from the success that we see in the Six of Wands. What are you doing? Ask yourself, Virgo, what are you doing to hold yourself back? Are you not paying enough attention to yourself? Are you giving your energies to someone else, someone in particular, other people, um, when it would be healthier to spend your energy on yourself and your own success? Someone may be taking from you and you're getting that message a lot lately, Virgo, and it's creeping up here again in this reading so that's just something to take a look at ask yourself that okay because i feel like it's time for virgo to shine for virgo and if someone doesn't like your success um you know that just kind of shows who your friends are right <clears throat> i'm not saying everybody has to always agree with you but if someone's coming from a place of selfishness like Virgo is not paying attention to me. Virgo is going to work. They're not paying attention to me. How does that make sense, right? I mean, unless you have children at home that need your attention or something like that, but I don't, I'm not speaking of something like that. I'm talking about someone who is fully capable of taking care of themselves and they're trying to hold you back from doing something because it's taking attention away from them. And um, 
if that's happening, if this is for you, it's really important you take a look at that because that, that wouldn't be healthy. Okay, the star and the six of cups is being clarified by financial constraints. So I feel like the financial constraints are lifting because we have <clears throat> so much success and healing here. So there's financial healing here, okay? And you may be helping someone and that someone is helping you. It's recipro reciprocated, if I can say that right, it's reciprocated in a healthy way and helping you out of your financial constraints. The Queen of Wands and the Three of Pentacles is being clarified by indecision. So you may be torn between, say, like guilt of like pulling your energy away from taking care of somebody else or overdoing it for somebody else and doing something for yourself. You know, they may be you know, tugging at you, trying to pull you back their way. And you're like, wait, what should I do? Am I doing the right thing? Is this wrong? So it's important to look at this. Don't avoid it. Don't hide like this. Look at it. Okay, it's time to face this. It's time to grow out of this. Six of Wands and Eight of Swords is being clarified by the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Okay, so the sacral chakra, money chakra, money, stability. We need to think about these things. Do you want to be stuck in a feeling of lack because someone else is taking your energy? Or do you want to come out of this? Do you want to heal this energy on this, this path in your life and start receiving in a balanced way rather than just giving? Okay, so numerology speaking, we have 13, we have 8, and we have 36, which breaks down to 9. So 13, 8, 36, and 9. So look up those numbers and just only take what definitions resonate with you, just like with this reading. All right, Virgo, we're jumping over to Angel Answers. So if you would like to focus on a question, you can, but you don't have to. Just take whatever messages resonate with you and leave what doesn't. All right, we have recovery. Hey, yeah, so in the very beginning, one of my first messages was about health and healing. You know, the physical and the mental, body, mind, spirit. We have recovery here. Very beautiful healing energy here. Let it in, Virgo. Be assertive. Yep, you might need to stand up for what you want. Get out of this indecision energy here and make a decision. You have the key. You have the key. You have the answer. You know how to do this. And um, there's a healthy collaboration here for you. And a soul connection type feeling with someone in a healthy way, in an easy, healthy, flowy kind of way. Six of Wands, Eight of Swords, and Archangel Ariel is being, wow, I love it, clarified by peaceful resolution. Yes, you will come to a peaceful resolution with all of this. You will feel at peace. And if there's someone else who is kicking and screaming a little bit because you're taking your energy away from them, either altogether or somewhat, know that it means it's for their own good too. It's time for them to learn. But don't let this be about them. This is about you honoring your own life your own energy and your own wants and needs beautiful reading virgo thank you so much for being here please like share and subscribe and i will see you again soon